Hey guys, my name is Agil and you are here to develop Android apps. So today in this video, we are going to see how we can switch between one activity to another. So I have already created a brand new project in our Android Studio. So here I am in the Android Studio. So first of all, let us rename this text to first activity. And now it's all done. And let us change a bit of the text size by typing Android text of size so because i am doing this i am not getting even predictions what are the properties and their values i don't know the exact reason for that so i am giving 25 sp here so if you know why i am not getting the predictions please do comment below so next i am just going to create a button and when a user click on that button we are going to navigate to the next view or the next activity so here I am giving the both width and height as wrap content and the text inside that button is going to be something like next. Okay, then now we can drag and drop it in the exact position since we are using a constraint layout. So it's something like a game that how we are connecting the constraints. So let us connect it and just drag a bit to the bottom and now we have to create another activity so we can navigate to that the new activity. Just right click on your package name, go to new activity and just choose the empty activity option. So now we are getting the options and just set everything as default just click on the finish button so our second activity is being created so the loading is in progress the gradle is building is in the progress in the background since it gets completed we can just code our front end using the xml file so here i am just going to create a simple text view so which can display the text that it is an activity to or the second activity so i am giving width and height as wrap content for this current text view i'm just giving wrap content okay and the text is going to be something like second activity yeah and the text size can be something like the previous one itself it's gonna be 25 sp in case of text size we are using sp but if it is another views like button image view extra so we have to use dp okay so let us again restart playing the game so we are connecting all the constraints and place it exactly where you want to see it so here is your second activity so this is the xml part of the second activity so now we have to go to our first activity and we must give an id to the button okay because we have to listen for the click event so let us create an id since i am not getting the predictions i am typing the whole sentence as android id equals to at plus id slash then i am giving the id as btn next so we have successfully created the id for this button now just we have to go to the exact backend code of the first activity that is our main activity dot kt file so here we have to create an instance of our that button view so yeah since it is called lin just write var or val just a variable name btn next equals to find view by id where we are going to find that view using the id our id is r.id.btn next so our instance of the btn variable is done or the btn view is done so let us create a on click listener on that button so set on click listener so here we have to create an indent variable so while indent equals to we have to create an indent it's going to be indent it's a class and it takes 
actually two parameters first is the current context that is this and next one is the target context which is going to be our main activity 2 that is our second activity then to colon and class dot java so actually this main activity dot kt that is main activity 2 is the backend code of our second activity that is the front end is the second activity so here this ender line that is the intent is stored in the variable called intent we can name it as you need and we have to start the intent by passing the variable intent so here we are passing the above variable called intent and now everything is ready and when a user click on this button the intent will start executing so let us try running this ender project in our android device so i have already connected my redmi note 7s and let me run the ender project or the app into my device and let us see whether it is gonna work or not so here is my android device screen so i am clicking on the install button here and now you can see our application is opened and when we click on the next button we can see we are moving to the second activity so we have successfully created when we click on the back we will come back and if you are clicking again you will again go to second activity so that's how we are going or we are going to navigate from one activity to another so i hope you enjoyed this video and you have learned something new from this video if you do just click on the like button and if you have any doubt just comment it out and click on the subscribe button turn on the bell icon see you later